Best from the past. I'm so delighted to have former Flint Mayor Jane Walling joining me. Oh my goodness, how are you? Very good. Thanks I am Colette. so glad so to, nice see to see you. you. Oh my and everybody goodness. Here. Yes, it's great. So I cannot believe, Mayor Walling, that it is approaching the 10 year anniversary <laughs> of the Flint water crisis next year. So, Mayor Walling, looking back, what comes to mind when you reflect? on that time. Well, this is a part of what I'm trying to process as I'm yeah. working on this book and memoir yes. because there were so many of these pivotal moments mm -hmm. and I want to take readers, yeah. you know, behind the scenes, mm. what was happening in the mayor's office, okay. what was happening with, you know, myself, with, right. with people who were there, the emergency managers. I mean, you remember, oh, wow. we, we did ask the mayors every week, yes. right? So we were talking about all of this and I, I want to shed some light on how Oh, just important local government is yeah um, and with that in crisis in recovery yeah. you know yeah and with that switch you know you think about that and the video that you see all the time with these pushing yeah. that you're going to be delving into that with your memoir as well mm. any regrets or of course I mean with change? everything we know yeah. now I mm -hmm. look back with a lot of you know shame and embarrassment about yeah. what happened but yeah. I also know that at the time mm -hmm. I was trying to work with the information that I had yeah didn't know it was bad information, that we had bad water. So this is a challenge, yes. I think, in so many of our communities. How do you solve these problems? Right. How do you get kind of to the real issue? I'm hoping that the lessons from our community yes. can, can benefit some future leaders, yeah, other and, communities. And yeah. I'm sure, Mr. Only that I'm thinking that your memoir, of course, that you're working on, Tell me why you were compelled to write it. I, I can I can tell that you really wanted to do it to help others, to learn from what you've you've gone through this whole situation. Well, I think when when tragedy strikes mm -hmm. and when we go through crisis, and I look at you know being in the mayor's office, right. even though I often felt like I was on the bench because of the emergency managers, I was still there and I saw what was happening. You know, I, I tried to influence what I could. I just think. You know, one lesson people could draw from that is, okay, well, you know, government's no good, mm -hmm. you know, we can't trust anybody, right. and I get that, but in a democracy, mm -hmm. we need people to step up. Yes. We need people to get involved, right. so I want to show what happened and hopefully, in maybe a strange way, mm -hmm get people excited about local government okay. about how important democracy really is yeah there's so many reasons to just want to wash your hands of it right but i just don't think we can do that well and i see that you're passionate about it still and are there any aspirations there in your future with no politics? Not, not, i don't feel that fire but i <laughs> i do feel like i want to tell the story okay. so I, I hope people will be interested some of these details you know maybe aren't the most interesting yeah. topic for a book of mm -hmm. what happens in local government, right. but I'm going to try my best to tell those stories, uh, provide you, a really truthful account. Yeah, Mayor Wally, when should we look for your memoir? I know you're still working on it. I've got a couple more chapters okay. to write. I turned 50 in March. I'm okay. trying to get it done before then, and there then I need go. a publisher. And so maybe by the time we get around to this next year, um, you know, this more full story yes. of everything that went on in Flint. And we'll, we will definitely we'll keep everyone available. Ta you know, we need to know when this is coming out. Thank you so much for the update. Appreciate you doing things now that you're excited about, you're enjoying. Yes, yes. I'm working with the Insight Health Group based in Flint and, and getting to work with uh, our Flint community yes. still, but then also Metro Detroit and Chicago and, and getting to do all of that while still being here in Flint. I love it. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you and your family have a wonderful new year. Thank you. And we're you looking too. forward to your memoir. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. Of course. Thank you. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM.com. Just use the subject for PM News Spotlight.